local people. Important issues. CBS 10 WILM's weekly focus on the Lower Cape Fear region. This is Byline Wilmington with your host, Don Ensel. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Well, will the American auto industry survive? And if it does, how will things change? That's our discussion on this edition of Byline with our guest. He's the general manager of one of the uh, largest dealerships in the region. Jeff Harris of Bob King Auto Mall joins us uh, for this edition of Byline. Jeff, thanks for being here. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Um, so when did you start to realize that uh, there was some issues and that we were in some kind of a, a, a crisis when it came to the automobile industry? I would say in the summer of last year, we started to see some... So not even a year yet, really. That's right. And, and what were the indications? Uh, units, unit sales started dropping? That is right. Uh -huh. um, so what's happened to your business? Uh, since the downturn? Um, things have changed as far as uh, the financing. Um, also, we're off probably 30% from what we were. Uh, still selling cars, right. still doing business, but we are having some difficult times with, with uh, getting the financing. Is it, and this is a question that, I don't know if it's answerable or not, but is it that it's harder to get financing or is it that people don't want to commit in this economy to a, uh, a long-term debt? I, I would say a little bit of both but more so towards the financing and that now we have seen is loosening up. It is. And it's getting better. We're what, what, are the, how, how do you, what are the indications? You have direct exchange with with uh, with financing agencies we do we do we, we we go to different banks and and that's that's our indication on whether the financing is available or not and where, where it started were on um, a paper good good credit where they were not wanting to buy uh, even that paper for when a while. you say a paper you're talking about people that have good credit that is correct well I mean if banks you wonder what are they doing? That's how they make their money, isn't it? What were they yes, doing? Just holding the money and not letting it go, waiting to see what was going to happen, and that's where uh, the crisis came. That's where it came from. So, so you would have people coming that want to buy a car with good credit, and they couldn't get financing. Yes. Yeah. How, uh, like, if five people or ten people came to you, how many of those could you get approval on? Uh, three out of five, uh -huh. two and, out of five. And it's always been like almost everybody. That's right. Uh, and had, did traffic drop at the, at the uh, dealerships other than the credit yes. issue? Yes. At first the traffic didn't drop off. At first we still had the traffic and it was very, very frustrating when you have the people and you can't get the deal done. Um, and then uh, to follow that, the traffic fell off. Was there anybody loaning money, or it was just it closed, it shut down? Uh, no, th there was still money being loaned, but at a very trickle uh -huh. rate. Um, give us some comparison of what uh, what activity was like. Uh, I guess the latest figure you have is first quarter of the, of this '09, as compared to uh, first quarter of '08 and first quarter of '07. Just give us a little comparison. Well, first quarter of 07, I would say we were doing uh, three to 325 a month. Um, units. Units. 300 to 325, first quarter of 07. 07. 08, I would say that number stayed, um, may, maybe dropped a little bit, maybe 285 to 295, maybe 310. And now this this quarter of '09, we're at 325. First quarter for anybody that doesn't know is uh, January, February, March. Is how much? 325. So you, per month. You're a little up from uh, 08. 
No, 08 was 395. Oh, 395. So I, I'm sorry, 295. 295. Now we're at 225. Oh, 225. Yes. So that's a considerable yes. drop. So, yeah, it's been a first quarter of 08, first quarter of 09 has been a significant drop. Yes. What do you, What's the best year you ever had in the business? How long have you been in the business? 15 years. Okay. And I would say the best year was 2002. Really? Yes. Good Interesting, year. because 9-11 uh, uh, had just happened. Yeah. Well, that was the year. We, we, were out, we had a really good year before that happened, and then when that happened, that was the first time that GM ever came out with the zero percent after that. They had a campaign that they came out to, to help did the they economy. lead the industry in that? They did. They did. They did. And everybody wanted to. And I mean, we you, just. It's free money. Yes. You can borrow free money. Mm -hmm. uh, did that become an issue for such loose credit in, uh, in cars being surrendered? I think that played a part. It did. I, I do. I do. I think. Uh, People couldn't afford to keep up. I, I do. I think that, you know, whereas now they're. They're not lending as well as they were. Now, when they were lending then, they were lending too freely at right. that point. It's sort of like the mortgage fiasco. Right. That it had the same overtones. Yes. Um, is, is credit, well, first of all, how's, here we are. You, you had figures January, February, March. We're in April. How's it looking? It, it's looking good. Is it moving Th up? Things have picked up. We have start. they're lending money again. Um, and things are looking good. So what if, if things are, are if, what is the biggest stumbling block now to, to selling a car? Um, negative equity. When they come back and they don't, they owe more than what the car is worth, which now GM just came out with a program this month that they're going to, they're going to give. You mean as far as trading in something for, for a new vehicle? That's right. If they have negative that's right. Equity, it's it's That's harder. our biggest stumbling block. Was that what was was that always an issue? It's always been an issue. That's always been something that we've had to deal with. Um, but with the banks tightening up on how much money they will lend on the vehicle, it plays a bigger part. We're going to come back uh, with Jeff Harris from uh, Bob King Auto Mall, and talk, and they are one of the largest dealerships in the region of GM products. We're going to talk about the GM franchise when we come back. Stay with us.